It's the final day of the Shipbox Rally, and all we have to do today is drive the four hours from Uluru to Alice Springs. Now for the second time this week, we're travelling with Alex and his sister Rachel in the Rover. It's been a tough journey, but a journey of love for Alex. My brother Alex is so mad about this car, he brought this to polish this. So Alex, after this massive journey, how the hell are you going to let go of this Rover at the auction tonight? Well, it is true that he's going for auction, but I'm sort of a bit attached to the old fella now, so I'm going to uh, bid on my own car. To tell you the truth, I had absolutely no expectation of this car making it whatsoever, and it's just stunned me. And I think it's proved a lot of people wrong. Both Rach and I are very, very happy with how it's run. Well, somebody had to be the mechanic and somebody had to sit at the back of the pack, so I mean, it's probably best that me and Rachel do that uh, and take that responsibility on. Um, you know, we brought a toolkit along just in case anything serious did happen. Uh, luckily, nothing did. I can't believe I'm actually saying this, but the front of the convoy is just hitting town. We've got three and a half thousand k's, the Udna Data track, and three states behind us. I couldn't tell you if this trip's gone for seven days or a month. It's just been so intense. What a trip. All of the other shipbox rallies have already taken their cars to the auction. Even though I want to buy the car, the reason that we're getting it all cleaned up is because at the end of the day, this is a Cancer Council charity event. And I think if we turn up with a car that looks absolutely sparkling after doing this rally, we stand a better chance of actually making some really good money out of the car. I so hope Alex can buy his own car back. He's been such a godsend at this rally. I think it, it, he's meant to have it. He's put so much time and effort into um, his own car. The Rover and Alex are meant to be together. I don't think I actually allowed myself to think about being here auctioning off the cars. I always thought there was always going to be many more problems that would come before this. The best part about it is that you know, everyone that's done the rally is really, really happy. Um, you know, and, and I think most of them are going to do it again next year. Uh, and I think that's the, your best sort of indication on how well an event like this has gone. Right now, what do I hear? We're driving the Rover, surely 500 started. Driving the Rover. I got 500 started like 550 years. 14, you want to make it 15? Also, he wants it. You look at this. 2100. Also, sell the bastard. <laughs> Done. Yeah. Remember Jamie and Mel from the Sheila Boy who we travelled with yesterday? Well it turns out it was Jamie that bid for the Rover. He paid $2,100. How good is this guy? I mean that's what this rally's all about. We, we hadn't met prior to this, you know, we had one day at a pub together prior to this. So is he going to have to pay you back the money to get the car? How's it going to work? Uh, we've already worked things out so it's all taken care of. Apparently. I haven't heard anything about this. This, this is all news to me. Yeah. Now that is the end of the first ever shipbox rally. Now these shipboxes may or may not go to good homes here in Alice Springs, but they've raised around $6,000 tonight, and that goes on top of the $90,000 already raised for the Cancer Council. But this trip wasn't just about fundraising. It was about going to parts of Australia you'd never seen before. It was about pushing really shit cars to their limits and making awesome friends. <laughs>